first question, Kevin wants to know how long SSDs will last. He wrote in, I heard SSD drives, that's redundant, Kevin. It's SSD. Have write limits of something like one million times. That sounds like a lot until you think about all the operating system files that are constantly being read and written. One example I can think of is page file. How long would an SSD drive, how, Kevin, it's SSD. How long would an SSD last before it starts failing? Or do they start losing capacity because the firmware marks bad areas that have been written too many times? Thanks, Kevin in Wisconsin. Yes? Pressure's on. Somebody's thinking about upgrading to SSD drives in her computers. That's, That's redundant. redundant. It's, it's SSD. SSD. Look, MLC NAND cells can be erased something like 10,000 times before. In the words of an NAND Shimpy, it stops reliably holding charts. The zeros and ones go away. And SLC ups that to something like 100 thousand erases. That sounds awful small though, right? Everybody that bought an SSD like me and Roger are stupid and wasted their money. It's so stupid. Yeah, that 10,000 rights thing is a little deceptive. For example, that million you're throwing around is most likely the write endurance rating for an older SSD. You take that times the capacity divided by the sustained write speed and you get a huge number of seconds, like billions of seconds. That means you should have like 30 years of use out of this. Yeah. So uh, First up, most folks spend a lot more time reading data from a drive rather than writing to it. And second, thanks to wear leveling, uh, you don't write to the same memory cell in the device every time you write. And thanks to wear leveling built into the drive to oversimplify, it spreads the writes around as much as possible. Um, OEMs told Intel they wanted a drive to be able to handle 20 gigabytes of data written per day for five years before it would fail. 20 gigabytes is probably three times what a heavy home user does. Yeah, so Intel basically came back and, and guarantees their drive. They put some extra padding on the drive, some space you don't have access to, because um, cramming an SSD drive to the gills and giving it no space to move stuff around is no good. They guarantee that their X25M models are good for 100 gigabytes a day for five years, which should keep massive, scary data centers all kind of happy, or any kind of burly server environment, or somebody working with crazy amounts of video editing. It's also possible, we should mention, it's possible over time for flash cells to lose their charge, but that is way, way, way out in the future of your drives. Look. Solid state drive technology, it came from like little crappy thumb drives. You could write like two terabytes to, and then they were done. They were worn out. It should take something like five to 10 to 30 years. I'm hoping so I don't So basically, even... he's going to have a, a whole new computer system set up Most by the time likely. it wears out. Like probably many times over before that becomes an issue. Unless it turns out there's some hidden issue that none of the mathematicians yeah. and, and scientists and engineers and other geniuses that worked on the product. I think you're projects. okay, Kevin.